Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Latte Panda and I'm running Android 6.0.1. Now this is running natively on the machine from the internal storage. This is not emulated under Windows or anything. We'll go to settings, about tablet, 6.0.1. Now this is Android x86. Right now, I do not have sound through the HDMI. The 3.5 millimeter jack on the board does work for sound. No Wi-Fi, but Ethernet is working. So I haven't gone into the BIOS or anything. I just installed this. I installed a few apps to test them out. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with some of these apps. So let's say GTA San Andreas. Unfortunately, it has stopped. Asphalt 8. When I start Asphalt 8 up, I actually deleted the data and tried to re-download it. It does work, but I can't see the cars. It's all black. I get my HUD or my heads up display when I start a race, but I can't see any cars or any of the scenery. It's all black. This does have the Play Store built in, and I haven't had time to test a lot of these games. Okay, there's so much stuff on Android, but I was able to test a few games that do work. So we got Crossy Road that works. Hungry Shark works with a controller because I don't have a touch screen. Um, and I haven't had a chance to run any of these emulators just yet. I was able to run an Antutu benchmark. And the score was not phenomenal. Um, this could be due to just lack of optimization. But we'll go into A to 64. As you can see, we have the Intel Atom X5 Z8300 Cherry Trail. Now I'm getting high CPU usage pretty much all the time. Um, on all four cores, as you can see, this should go down to about 480 megahertz, like it says here. But it's jumping around a bunch. I'm not sure what's going on. Like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to test this out. We do have the Intel Open Source Mesa DRI Intel HD Graphics. It does support OpenGL ES 3.1. But for now, I'm experimenting with this. Hopefully this weekend I can set up some boot flags, edit the kernel a little bit, and get sound working through HDMI. It could possibly just be a BIOS setting that I need to change. Another thing that I would really like to get working is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now I'm really not sure what's going on with that. But like I said, this is kind of experimental. This is Android x86 RC1. It's a release candidate one. RC2 also works. I tried to install Android x86 5.1, but I cannot get it to install for some odd reason. This does support USB storage. I will be testing some emulators on this, but let's just say Crossy Road here. I mean, I know this is a low-end Android game, but I'm going to be testing a lot more this weekend, so just bear with me, guys. I don't have much time right now. I've been super busy with work the last two days, and uh, it's, it's been kind of crazy. So I did try to get Remix OS running. Um, I cannot get it to run. I get a black screen, it does boot up, get a black screen and a maroon bar at the very bottom, like a reddish purplish bar. Not sure what's going on there. This is very, very smooth. I mean, the performance on the OS itself, the interface, works amazing. And this is rooted. So if we just go download Super User. And with that Ethernet, it's lightning fast online. YouTube works. I get this weird side screen because I guess it thinks it's a phone or whatever. We're going to expert. Continue. Normal. It's going to install the binary for us, but it's already rooted as you can see. And I want to remember this choice forever. It will successfully install and then I'll need to reboot just to have this super user installed. But, 
Yeah, I mean, this is really cool. I would like to get everything working. I can deal myself without Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I have USB controllers. I know a lot of you out there with the Latte Panda are going to want that. I'm going to try my hardest to see what's going on with this. If you own a Latte Panda and you're familiar with Android, let me know. I can give you a detailed rundown on how to install it. It's fairly simple. But uh, yeah, if you want to edit some of the you know, configurations within Android, that would be awesome. Let me know if you get anything working. We'll do a quick SunSpider browser benchmark. Now this is the stock browser that comes with Android. I'll decline my location. Now you guys know I love running SunSpider. I've been running it for years. That's why I run it on all of my devices. Seven hundred and sixty eight milliseconds, really not that bad. So that's it for now, guys. If you guys want to see anything tested on this latte panda running Android six point zero point one, let me know in the comments below. This weekend I'll put out a few more videos. Even if I can't get the Wi-Fi and audio working, I'm still gonna test out some more apps. If I can get them running, I will make a video. With what I can get running, I'm definitely going to make a video and hopefully we can get some decent emulation out of this unit. Now I love the Latte Panda with windows on it, but it's just cool to have a change of scenery. Android running on the x86 platform, it's really not there yet. I mean, obviously ARM has it locked down when it comes to Android, but at least we got this extra operating system for the Latte Panda. Like always, thanks for watching.